Police investigation of tire marks shows that a car travelling along a stride level street had skidded a total distance of 43.5 meters. Distance is given there. So mention that distance is 43.5 meters. After the brakes were applied. So after the brakes were applied means so it will come to the state of rest right. So final velocity is equal to 0 meter per second square. The coefficient of friction between the tires and pavement is estimated to be u is equal to 0 0.6. What was the probable speed of the car when the brakes were applied? So that means it is asked to calculate initial velocity. So as I told you earlier for any problem first you need to calculate acceleration. So let this is the car. So let this is the car. So which is uh, uh, traveling in this direction and it is accelerating in this direction. So when brakes are suddenly applied, so what will happen? It will come to rest, right? So when we consider the free body diagram of this one, so weight acts vertically downwards. Normal reaction for the tires will be like this and it is accelerating in this direction in the opposite direction there will be inertia force w by g into a and at the tires contact there will be frictional force in the opposite direction right okay so otherwise i will denote here so this is the direction of frictional force so here if i consider sigma fy equal to zero sigma fy equal to zero the forces along y direction are n and w so n acting along positive y direction w acting along negative y direction so which means n is equal to w so if i know the value of n i can calculate frictional force from the relation f is equal to mu n right so which is nothing but f is equal to mu into w so replacing n with w so i got this relation so now consider sigma fx is equal to zero for the same figure sigma fx is equal to 0 which means the algebraic sum of force components along x direction is equal to 0 so that means along x direction the forces are f along negative x direction so minus f and uh, minus w by g into a so here w by g into a is the inertia force which is nothing but ma so here i have written that one in terms of weight which is equal to 0 okay so here i got the value of f is earlier mu w right so minus mu w minus w by g into a equal to 0 from that mu w is equal to minus w by g into a w w gets cancelled what i want is acceleration so that means acceleration is equal to minus mu into uh, g so this is the relation i got for acceleration and coefficient of friction it is given a coefficient of friction it is given that it is 0 0.6 so from that acceleration is equal to minus 0 0.6 into and acceleration due to gravity is a 9.81 meter per second square so when i solve this one i will get minus 5.886 meter per second square so this is the value of acceleration what it is asked to calculate is initial velocity i know that displacement i know the velocity i know the acceleration and i know the uh, i don't know the initial velocity so there are uh, three equations v equal to u plus at and uh, s is equal to ut plus half at square v square minus u square equal to 2s so observe the given parameters v is there u is there s is there and a is there so what is the equation associated with these four parameters which is nothing but v square minus u square equal to 2s right from this one so final velocity is a zero square minus u square unknown value minus u square is equal to 2 into acceleration i got that one as minus 5.886 right 
into displacement is that is given as 43.5 meters so minus u square is equal to minus minus 2 into 5.886 into 43.5 so minus minus becomes cancel from that you can calculate the value of u when you solve that you will get 22.62 meter per second hope you like this video if you like this video click on like button for more videos do subscribe my channel thank you for watching